Good morning, church. It's Sunday morning, and I wanted to thank you for being a part of this, this devotion that we're going to talk about James a little bit. And a couple weeks ago, we started and looked at the book of James. And one of the things that, just to kind of recap, James was Jesus' little brother, and he didn't realize or understand who Jesus really was until after the resurrection. And when that happened, James believed. Um, he wrote a book called James, and he talks throughout the book of James. He talks to us and to the believers that are uh, following Jesus. He talks to them about faith. He talks to them about difficulties, trials, and tribulations, and how to have faith and not to waver. Um, he also talks in there about uh, favoritism, not to, not to favor the rich, um, but to treat everybody uh, with, with love and, and care for each other. Um, and so I wanted to kind of just stop there this morning and and tell you a story. Um, you know that the world, the the society that we live in, is probably similar. Um, but in our society right now, there's there's a polarization, uh, kind of like the poor and the rich. But um, but the polarization right now is um, there's a lot of hate. There's a lot of dislike of different people. Um, because of what they believe, um, because of how they live, and we all are sinners. We all have a sinful nature. But those who have come to know Christ, uh, James talks about how to live in a way that is an example of Christ, um, one who believes in in Jesus and then acts it out. So James talks about being be more than just a listener of God's word, be a doer, meaning um, James talks about faith without works is dead. And so to have a faith that is alive and real and, um, and holds water and uh, is what James talks about. So I want to give you a story real quick of what that looks like. There was a young girl that uh, who had on her heart to uh, to do what God's word says and not just be a listener. And so she did what Matthew five says to do. And I want to read that to you real quick. Matthew. 543 you have heard that it is said or was said love your neighbor and hate your enemy but I tell you love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you that you may be sons of your father in heaven he causes his son to shine on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous if you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are you not even are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your brothers, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. So in Matthew, Jesus says, Love your enemies. And pray for those that persecute you. So this little girl, this young girl, decides, I heard this story, that she decides to, to do just that. And she's concerned about uh, her leaders in, in, in government. And she prays for, for them. And then she has this, this amazing idea. Why don't I, as, as a young person, why don't I just find a Bible, and I'll send it to this leader in government and 
and pray for that person and and tell that person that I'm praying for them and tell that person about Jesus. So she writes a letter and she puts the letter in the Bible in a package and mails it to the the, the office of this <clears throat> person in, in government. And before she does, she prays for this person. And in the letter, it says something like, um, when I've read this book, this Bible, um, it changed my life. And I'm praying that you will take the opportunity to read this book and that it will change your life too. So, a couple things. One, this is a young person that is showing us, giving us example of how to live, how to put our faith into, uh, into something that's living and real, and that is when when there's <clears throat> someone in our life that <clears throat> we don't like, um, or when there's somebody in place of power, authority, that we have a hard time with, um, if God asked us to pray for that person, which he did, he does in, in Scripture, um, sometimes we have the pushback and say, yeah, I don't want to do that. But that would be disobedience. So what does James talk about? He talks about faith without without works, without deeds, without without action is dead. Faith comes first, then the works, then the the acting it out, then the the real life stuff. And so I want to encourage us this morning as we look at Scripture, as we look at James, as we look at what Jesus said as well, to consider putting into practice what the Word says. Don't just be mere, uh, mere listeners, but doers of His Word. Let me pray. Lord, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for your Word. We ask that you would help us to do just that, is to live out your word with, with our faith. May we believe and trust you. May we see your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, thanks for being with me this morning. It's just a few minutes, but I want to encourage you to to keep reading God's word, keep praying, uh, keep trusting him. Jesus says to look up because he's coming soon. So keep looking up. Amen.